Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to beat or how I managed to beat the failed experiment boss here in Final Fantasy VII Remake. He's kind of like this big version of the other experimental creatures that you find down in the lab. He may not be as big and bad as the behemoth that you'll take on later on, but this guy can kind of pack a punch, especially if you don't know about all of his attacks. So hopefully the video is going to help. You can see that attack seemed to uh, get me out of nowhere, and that's because actually it was the failed experiment boss that kind of battered me. And I think what he's doing is throwing the unknown entities at your character, Tifa, on the, on the kind of like platform. And what he also does is he smashes the platform. So you can see there's like four, four little squares going out towards the, uh, the failed experiment boss. Uh, but he'll start to smash those. Actually, I think there's three and it goes down to two. Now taking these out is relatively easy as Tifa. You just have to smash them and use her uh, whirlwind uppercut to finish them off. You can use some magic on them, but I preferred to save all my magic for the failed experiment. And it's weakest against ice, so Blizzard, Blizzaro, anything you've got, whatever's your strongest ice magic, use that and target his appendage which is a pretty weird term, but essentially you need to get him right in the appendage with, uh, with a little bit of ice, and that will do the trick to try to take the appendage out of the equation, which definitely speeds up this fight. Now, obviously, you want to use cures where you can. You can switch on over to Barrett to get him from behind, which kind of turns him around to face Barrett. And you can use fire on the appendage, which also does a good amount of damage, but it's not as good as the ice magic. And then as soon as he kind of turns turns around, flick on back to Tifa, take out the unknown entities, and then even before you finish them all off, you can start to use uh, ice magic straight on the appendage to, uh, to kind of keep chipping away at that. And essentially what you're trying to do is get it gone, and as soon as that's gone, you'll be able to take out the, uh, the failed experiment way, way easier. Now don't worry if actually he kind of goes quite a way away, you can still get him with ice and that should see you through to the next phase where he grabs even more of these and starts hurling them at Tifa which brings her down to the ground and then you'll be alongside Barrett to take it on. In, uh, in this final section. So you can see here, ice spells rapidly fill its stagger gauge, while melee attacks have little or slight effect, and long range and other element attacks have no effect. Uh, crippling its tentacles will cause it to reveal its heart, and then you need to attack the heart to rapidly fill its stagger gauge. So that's kind of like the strategy you need to follow. Essentially, build up ATBs with your main characters, and, uh, and you're looking to attack everybody around you, use Barret for cures for Tifa to keep her in the match if you haven't got both of them equipped with ice magic. If you have, then you can keep cycling through both of them to attack the appendage. Uh, but then as soon as you've got Tifa up to a good ATB or two, you can then go on after the appendage once again and, uh, and use a little bit of magic. Now skip out of the way of everybody, get yourself in a good position, and then you can use a limit if you've got it. And I opted to actually target the unknown entity instead of the appendage because I wanted to test the theory that it wouldn't actually take any damage. But as you can see, it does take some damage and it hits both the appendage and the failed experiments. And that brings it down. And then because it's pressured, I can then get in some good whirlwinds, hit it with some blizzard and try to get it to stagger as quickly as possible. You can see that I've nearly got a half filled stagger gauge as a result of that. And then keep on hitting blizzard and that should get me very close to the next stagger. Sadly, running out of MP, so needed to hit up an ether to keep Tifa in the game. And then it's simply just the case of getting back to the same process. And as soon as you get a stagger in place, you can then start to attack the failed experiment directly. So you'll see it's just about to go down and then you can just lay in as much damage as you can. Now you can see a whirling uppercut adds to the stagger effect. So you can see I'm up to 165 and you'll see in a little second, after doing a little bit of Blizzara damage, you can see I did another one and it went up to 170. So that's a good way for you to add to your impact when you've got it to stagger and then you just back into doing the damage on the appendage itself because you still need to take this out to be able to go after the heart. Now if you run out of MP you can still do good damage on the appendage with abilities or you can obviously just use an ether to build up a little bit more magic capabilities. You can also use Barrett to be able to add to the impact 
but don't find yourself getting stuck too close to it, especially when it jumps into the air. Here you want to be rolling out of the way as quickly as possible. You can see I didn't know that at the stage, but Barrett was able to uh, finish off the appendage in the background, so that finished the appendage off, so now I could go after the heart itself. And here's when I use my opportunity to bring out my summon, which was Shiva, which is ice damage, which is weak to, and then I just got back to building up an ATB using Shiva's ability, and that was enough to take the failed experiment boss down. It's not a shockingly tough boss fight, but there's a lot to take into account. Hopefully the video helps you out and helps you to get past this section of Final Fantasy VII Remake. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side, and check out the rest of my guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below, let me know how you get on against the failed experiment, and I will catch you next time.